Another question is, uh, what is the best agent that we can use when we think about iron chelation therapy? Uh, on a practical level, um, the oral agent, uh, like the Ferrazirox, are maybe more handy uh, to use. But these agents um, are associated with uh, gastrointestinal toxicities and renal toxicities that may be uh, a problem in a patient. And in fact, most of the patients treated with this agent have less than six months of uh, treatment. Some of these patients quit the treatment because of disease progression or other re uh, reasons, but at least 20% of them will quit treatment because of the side effects of treatment. So we need to work on this. We can work on it playing on the schedule of the, of the treatment, playing on the formulation of the treatment, and uh, there's just been the uh, registration of a new formulation of Deferazirox uh, with mm, enteric uh, coated uh, formula that may allow um, more easy uh, tolerance, at least on the GI uh, aspect. So I think it's something that may be uh, something new and really important for this patient. For the patient that cannot tolerate this uh, oral iron uh, chelation therapy, uh, we can back, get back to the old days uh, using deferoxamine, which has mainly logistical uh, issues because uh, it's IV or sub-Q, it's long-term infusion, and it's not practical when you think about the quality of life of the patient, especially post transplant, where the uh, hospital and uh, care burden is really heavy, already heavy. So it's maybe the more uh, the iron chelation therapy, that, uh, oral iron chelation therapy agents that uh, need to be preferred in these settings taking into consideration that you need to follow this patient really, really uh, closely uh, to be sure that you don't have any side effects that may interfere, especially with uh, the uh, immunosuppressive therapy, for example. The question of uh, beginning of iron chelation therapy is something important when we talk about myelosplastic plastic syndrome and transplantation. I think if you have a high probability to head to transplantation, to bridge transplantation, for example, for high-risk disease or for low-risk disease with already failing one or two lines of treatment, uh, you can begin iron chelation therapy even maybe earlier than uh, what is the usual guidelines if you consider the dynamics of transfusion. If a patient is transfused any two, any two weeks and already have 10 to 15 trans uh, transfusion, you may not need to wait until the uh, iron overload is still rising before considering uh, iron chelation therapy. And it may be easier to begin at this level uh, than after uh, for this patient.